In this video, you'll be learning how to import your ESPN Fantasy Basketball data into Microsoft Excel using some very simple methods that require absolutely zero programming knowledge. So go onto your web browser and log into your ESPN Fantasy Basketball League and go ahead and click on the team whose stats you want to copy over into your Excel file. In this example, we're using a random public league with the team name Dallas Cowboy. Now for those of you advanced Excel gurus out there, right away you may be thinking, all right, this is easy. We're going to go ahead and copy the web address, go back into Microsoft Excel to the data tab, go to data from web, paste the URL, and surely enough, we're gonna get the table with all of the stats, right? Unfortunately, this is not the case as ESPN has the data formatted in such a way that it's not recognizable in Microsoft Excel. No need to fear, however, there are still some methods that we can use to import this data into Microsoft Excel. No need to understand any HTML, Python, you know, any other programming at all. So first we're gonna go ahead and highlight all of the stats that we wanna copy. In this example, I have the stats set to the 2023 season as the stats stand currently here on December 28th as this is being recorded and we'll go ahead and paste it into the Excel file. We're gonna paste it about four columns to the right, leave some space for the names that we're gonna copy in later. Now that we got the stats copied in, we're gonna go back to the web browser and now we're gonna highlight and copy the players. Now, when you go to paste the player data into Microsoft Excel, in the first column, you're going to want to make sure that you right click and select match destination formatting. This way, instead of getting a bunch of images for the players and a bunch of other icons and stuff that we have no interest in, everything comes in in text formatting. And now this is probably the most tedious part of the entire process. You're going to have to go ahead and do some manual data cleaning here. You're going to go name by name and select those out and put them with the appropriate row of data over on the columns to the right. Once you're done with that, you can delete all of the excess data that you no longer need. And there you go. Now you have all of your fantasy stats for your fantasy basketball team. Of course, if you're looking to compare different teams, you can go ahead, create a new sheet, or go ahead and add additional rows. And you can do this for all of the other teams in your fantasy basketball league. Another method that you can use is image to text, which is a fairly new function in Microsoft Excel. And I'll admit it's a new function to me as well. So I went ahead and did some testing with it. First, I went ahead and tried the snipping tool. In order to access the snipping tool, either type snipping tool into your search bar and Microsoft Windows, or you can click the shortcut Shift, Windows, and S on your keyboard. This will go ahead and make your mouse look like a crosshairs and it'll make the rest of the screen sort of gray. And you just wanna go ahead and click and drag to select the window in which you wanna screenshot. And so here for this example, you can see we're selecting the stats that we wanna copy over. And now you'll go back to Microsoft Microsoft Excel, you'll go to that data tab. Instead of clicking data from web, you're going to click data from picture and then from clipboard. And now you'll see on the right, a new windows popped up and it's currently loading or processing the image that you've pasted into Microsoft Excel, seeing what kind of text it can take from that. Once Excel is done loading the image into text, you're going to see it's going to have a lot of changes for you to review. So you can either choose to leave this alone or you can go ahead and review these manually one by one. In this example, you can see we have 80 plus different cells to review, so it can be a bit tedious. So for better image to text processing, what you could do instead is instead of using the snipping tool, you could actually save the web page as a high resolution PDF. In this example, the web page PDF was saved at 2400 DPI or dots per inch, which is such high resolution that it actually caused my desktop to start making some high pitched whining noises. So I don't necessarily recommend unless you have a really strong computer that's able to process this type of image. After saving the web page as a PDF, you can go ahead and convert it to an image file. In this case, I would recommend using a PNG. And then you can do almost exactly what you did before in Excel. You'll go to the data tab. You'll go to from picture instead of from clipboard. You'll go ahead and select from file and then go ahead through your file explorer, locate where you save this brand new high resolution image. And then once again, it'll start the loading process. Keep in mind, Microsoft Excel's image to text does have a file size limit. So after a few moments, we finally have the image processed 
chest. And as you can see, there are still some cells coming up that need to be reviewed. However, for the most part, everything's been converted. I would say around 95% correctness. And some of the cells that need to be reviewed are actually just an added space in between two numeral digits. Whereas in the previous image to text example, there is a lot more issues, even some letters becoming numbers, numbers becoming letters, a lot more errors, whereas with the high resolution image, you see less of that. And now if we look at the copy and paste table side by side with the image to text table, you can see that everything matches up after some of that manual cleaning has been done with the image to text processing. Now, if I were to recommend a method to you, my suggestion would be to just copy the list of players for each fantasy basketball team in your league into an Excel file, and then go ahead and import NBA player stats from basketball-reference.com into another sheet. If you don't know how to do that, go ahead and follow along with the video in the upper left-hand corner. And then once you've brought in those player stats from basketball-reference.com, you can go ahead and link those up with the fantasy basketball player list using VLOOKUP, in which I have an example for that in the upper right-hand corner.